Hello, everybody. We're in another part of my house. My Letty head display and a giant mirror with some light shining. <laughs> but I'm using a table because this video is all about mystery boxes. Hi, my name is Karen, Desert Mermaid, live in Las Vegas, and I'm a thrifter reseller, and I do these crazy YouTubes because why the heck not? So, I have a lovely gentleman from Pennsylvania. He goes to a lot of the um, antique auctions there, and then he does mystery boxes. I've been working with this guy for five years. These boxes, you guys have seen them before. You never know what you're going to get. I'm trying to do one set a month. I know some people like them. I know some people don't like them, but I figure once a month, you never know what you're going to find in here. I never know what I'm going to get. So, um, and I'm supporting him. He's like, I think he's young. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think he's in his late twenties, early thirties. I know he was doing a lot of selling to save up to buy a piece of land. He's a hunter up there and whatever, but it's just fun to support a young, well, to me, young, <laughs> a young stuff getting their business together and doing some fun stuff. And he started doing these for me about five years ago. I asked him specifically because I found him on a page in Facebook and he was selling jewelry, so cheap, nice jewelry. And I'm like, shoot, if I could get boxes of this because he doesn't know, he doesn't care about jewelry. He's like, whatever, I just sell it for 50 cents or a dollar. And I'm like, okay. So I've got two boxes from him and then I have a long-standing relationship with my lovely friend, Erica. She's my Barbie whisperer. And I just, you know, we, she goes and hunts and she finds the most amazing Barbie things, which I love. <laughs> I just need to sort through all the Barbie things and start selling some of the Barbie stuff because I'm going mi to, I'm missing the window. I'm missing the window of opportunity, but it's coming, I swear. So anyway, she, uh, the little cutie pie. She does everything so cute and adorable and stickers and beauty and whatever. So we've got two mystery boxes from Adam and a lovely box from Erica. So, and you know, even though I buy stuff from her, she sends me so many little gifts. I, I don't know. So I'm hoping to maybe go visit her this fall or she's gonna come my way because I've offered the lovely mermaid room to her for to come and stay. So one of, we're gonna end up meeting up at some point. I just have to get through the next few weeks. I have a lot of stuff going on, very, very busy. So I just have to get through all of my things. And then when my schedule is clear, I can make better plans with her. So let's start. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the front box. Okay, placemats, look at that. Now you tell me that's not hello 70s right there. That bright orange and the yellow, very, very 70s. We've got a bag of jewelry. Oh, let's take a look. Looks like some enamel clamper. Oh, look at how cute that is with a little buckle. Okay. Okay, that's cute. Another enamel clamper with the safety chain. I do like those safety chains because sometimes these little guys like to fall off your wrist. It will not fall off. This looks like somebody made, someone made this for Grammy. Oh, a few of these. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember these beads? They look like a tricorn, <laughs> like a tricorn hat. It's like three... Oh my gosh, this is so 70s. This is a 70s. Yep, somebody was making jewelry back in the day. Do you remember those little three corner beads and they all fit together? So this one has the wooden beads with those. Look at that. That's actually kind of fun. I'm not going to say that was a seventh grader. I take it back. These are just some chains that are, oh, maybe it's one chain. Okay, that's all right. That's, that one's not exciting to me. And then this guy, and you know, they, this is like, they did that um, gold cord in between. So I don't know if somebody like crocheted these together. Could be, 
But anyway, okay, that's a fun little bag. I appreciate that. Yes, we'll take it. Let's keep going. Oh, look at these. Are these little songbooks? Look at this. These are beautiful. The pictures are gorgeous. So there's two of them, and one is Little Town of Bethlehem. I wish I knew how old these were. I don't think these are going to have dates in them. But oh my gosh, the printing in here is gorgeous. Couples in Leon, New York. Yeah, there's no dating in those. That's okay. Oh, goodness gracious, alive. 8,000 postcards. Oh, look at that. Oh, pansies for thought. Oh, you could just give me these books all day long. Oh my gosh, you guys. Those are beautiful. And here's another one, the Beatitudes. Beautiful. Let's take a peek inside this one. This one's a little falling apart-ish, but look. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. A bunch of more postcards. And, oh, yep, my allotment of hankies. <laughs> This looks like napkins. These are napkins of some kind with a blue trim. And then some hankies. I get hankies in almost every box. Some of them are pretty. Some of them, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Lily of the Valleys, one of my favorite flowers. And then these are the for your arm, the armrests. And again, I remember people were telling me how to get the stuff out because some of this has that aid that browning from age and one day i will get good at it <laughs> oh and look at this now i'm not sure is it a coaster is it just a little trinket dish a little bedside trinket dish i'm not sure it's nice and heavy though press glass that's pretty here's some more little doilies these look more modern they're they're not uh, they're hand they're not handmade they're machine made. Oh, he's being better with. Oh, look at this. Okay, little blue vase with more of those dudes in the inside. Oh, look at this pretty little guy. Oh, that's cute with the basket. I oh and look here's a bigger one of this. I wonder if these are almost like little serving dishes for a table. What would you do with these? Like you could put mayo in here and throw a spoon in there, right? Oh boy. Oh, goodness gracious. He did include some glass this time. Look at this. I love these. What this looks like a little spider web there. Look at this nice piece of lace. This is a little for a square table. It does have the yellowing, but again, I'm going to give those things a go. I'm going to give some of those little, oh my, <laughs> look at this. It's got acorns on it. How cute is that? But unfortunately, it also has the moth holes. And then some more. Holy cow. He, I can't even believe how much he gets so much. Oh, I love these. Like this, just this plain lace. This makes me think of my grandparents because they had the plain lace dresser scarves. Oh, look at that. I don't know. Oh, it's two. Okay. So more little table toppers or something. Look at this. Hello. That's pretty. I've not really seen too much clear depression glass. Honestly, usually I see the yellow, the pink. Here's some sewing supplies. Oh, look at this. I think I had some of this in another box and I sold it. This, I think I did. Look at how pretty this little guy is too. 
so there was one video this is like a big circle doily with the edging um there was one video i did when i was back in buffalo this one's plastic where the woman took look at this is a handle for something or it's a tie back right a tie back but isn't this interesting it's like brown cord hmm mystery I went to one shop when I was back home and they took a lot of these lace pieces and made them into like window covers. Oops. Look at that loop trim. These are all bias tape. These unfortunately don't sell too well. I don't find unfortunately for me. And there's 800 million of them in here. <laughs> there is Rick Rack. Who doesn't like Rick Rack Patty Whack? I like it. Oh my gosh. You can <laughs> look at it all. More Rick Rack, more bias tape. Is there something else you could do with bias tape besides using it for hemming? I just don't know. There's piping. Oh, and look at this. Vintage melon baller with a wood handle. That's nice. Another piece of that. Oh, look. Oh, that's pretty. A little chippy, unfortunately. But a little leaf. And then look, here's the third one. And they do fit inside each other. So I bet these are probably candle holders, but you know what? I would be creative and use those on my table to stick like pickles, relish, you know, condiments in them. Oh, there's a second one of that. Here's these. Napkin. Oh, this looks like, oh, it's a placemat. What do you guys do with single placemats? Like, what would you even do with them? Oh, that's pretty. This is a is made in Hong Kong. It's a little rose tile. That's pretty. Oh, and here's some more of these guys. So I do have full sets. That's nice because I think this stuff may sell because of its vintage 70s vibe. Oh, and I got another one of these. Okay. More of this. Wow, this is a lot. A lot of textiles today. But again, I never know what I'm going to get. Oh, God, I forgot what this is called. I know you guys will know. It's like the fabric that has the texture on it. But I forgot the name. Oh, my goodness, another bias tape. Oh. A little mirror from an ID card. Oh, my gosh. And another little napkin. And a green guy, this is 80s. That makes me think of 80s. Look, I do love my eyelet. I do love my eyelet. And then this bigger guy. Oh, that's really pretty. Very pretty. These all need a good soak. They all need a good soak. Here's your fancy coaster. <laughs> and a plant bracket. Okay, that's a box number one. So, hmm, it was okay. It's not my favorite. I don't love all, all of that stuff. Will I make my bunny back? Hmm, maybe. I, you know what? I will because those books are going to do it. Those books are going to have a little bit more value than most of the stuff in here. One down, two to go. So, let's see. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way. Oh, these bias tapes. If anybody likes bias tape, send me a message. You can have them all if you just want to pay for shipping. Yours. Your ors. Let me know. You can send me a message here. Or you can email me at 716 Desert Mermaid at Gmail. 
and I will happily send you every bit of that rickrack and bias tape. Yours. I don't sew, so it's not. Okay, here we go. Now, oh no. <laughs> We're starting off the same way. Let's see. Looks like a pillowcase. Okay, pillowcases I like. I don't mind pillowcases. Oh, and look at this. This is painted on. Isn't that interesting? That's cute. Okay, there's some, I think there's some more fun textiles in here. Look at that guy, more eyelet. Again, one of my favorites. Another one of these napkins that I can't think of the name of that, and I know you guys know it. Oh, and these are like your little kitchen cloths. My, my mom used to make them. A little guy. A few more hankies. Oh, yes, I say yes to hankies. Also, the hankies that are a little bit spotted up and some of these other small pieces, I do like to lot up and sell it in one big glob because a lot of people do take this and make things out of it. Oh, here's a whole pile of hankies. I'm a big fan of these, these, the ones with more color. The white ones don't impress me much unless they're very delicate and pretty. Like this one is pretty. It has little daisies all over it. You can see that. This one is a little lace guy. I do like some of that. Look at how pretty that little guy is. I think the prettier ones sell better. And the shapes? Yes. Here's some. I think these are napkins just by the feel of the fabric because it's sturdier. You know? Hankies were delicate. So this looks like a whole bunch of napkins with the scalloped edges. That's all of those. Oh my gosh, look at this vintage baby pib. Look at that. Now the unfortunate thing is it's got the crackle, the crackled plastic back. Unfortunate. Oh, that's cool. Dams and lakes. I'm going to have to look at that because I wonder if Hoover Dam is in there. The Naked Mind of Buddy Hackett. Oh, boy. That's probably going to be a little naughty in here. Oh, it's his jokes. <laughs> Let's read one. Hopefully it's not naughty. Did you see him tonight? He's all right. I don't know. Seems to be working tight. Well, he's been around a while. It shows. How long can he go on? Who knows? I saw him first in The King and I. You had a look that made me cry. He's at that age. It'll drop him soon. How will he take it? That great big boom. Well, he's right. He's the best, just like wine. Yeah, but age is the test. He's nine. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, this is interesting. It's a book of birds. Let me see if I can read where these are from. Oh, there's pheasants. 19... 60 Bird Portraits in Color, published by the University of Minnesota. Let's see if we can look at some of these. Pheasant. I don't know, chickadees, something. Sorry, the light is glaring, I apologize. But how fun is this? A full book of all these different things and these are all frameable. So this could be very interesting. That could be a very interesting find. Oh, that's pretty. I love when color is incorporated into the lace. That's hand-stitched, my loves. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, and a little fillet. I enjoy the fillet stitching as well. I'm really getting to know my stitches, you guys. <laughs> I'm getting to learn them. This looks like a little, I don't know, a curtain? No, it's another pillowcase. Wow, it's big for a pillowcase. And this needs another nice soaking. That one is also a little messy. Yeah, 
yeah, a lot of this has the browning on it. Oh, here's some lace edging. Another one of those napkins that I can't think of the name of. Oh, another cute little hanky. Here's a piece of fabric in the shape of a dog ear. Whoop, whoop. I've got some postcards. I don't bother showing you the individual postcards because I figure you know what a postcard looks like. And if there's any really, really good ones in there. Oh, here's some more hankies in the corner here and some dresser scarves. He really gets a lot of textiles. Holy smokes. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be fun. What are you? Oh, for goodness sake, look at that. Isn't that cute? Birds. Birds. Here's another plain hanky. Oh, goodness gracious alive, you guys. Let me pull some more stuff out of here. Oh, this box is packed. Oh, boy. Slides. Let's see. I'm going to look at a few and see if I can figure out what they are. Oh, it looks like... Oh, it looks like it's out this way. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like mountains. Oh, that's pretty fun. Okay, I'm going to have to look these up. But look, it's a whole bag. I'm going to have to look up some. <laughs> that will be a lot to look up. And then I've got a big bundle. Oh, look at That's a pretty one. Postcards. Oh, and look at that, my Canadian friends. I've got some postcards from Canada. It's an elk or a moose or whatever you guys call your critters up there because to me, elk and a moose look very similar. Flagstaff, Arizona. A whole bunch of postcards. Postcards sometimes can do well, sometimes they don't. It just really depends. So I don't know how well we'll do on those, but it doesn't make a difference. Okay, and again, for my sewing friends, if someone wants a ton of bias, and now I have this little creative button, make your own button, and here's button cover. All of this sewing stuff can be yours. The first person that sends me a message and says they want it, you just gotta pay for shipping and it won't be too bad, I don't think. So a whole bunch of that. Whole bunch. Here's some more hankies. Oh, you guys look. I'm not kidding when I say a whole bunch. Here's more piping. Here's more rickrack. And some smaller pieces. That's pretty. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty for a hanky? This is a little pretty hanky. Let me see if I can open it. Does it have a letter on it? It does. Hanky. Another little piece of this dude. Oh my gosh, you guys look at these. Little leather baby shoes. Adorable. Hmm. Guess what I got? bias tape and some bias tape and some bias tape and some bias tape and some bias tape and then another oh that one's cool another dresser scarf and look at that's another pretty one with the green that's pretty green accent and it's like eyelet that's nice. A mini postcard. Uh-oh. I've been naughty. It's cool. <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> mm, that's funny. This is a Superman something. I don't know what it is. And another hanky. 
Oh, that's kind of fun. A little whatever. I don't know what this is. Auto drive. I have no idea. And then look at this. These are nail clippers in the shape of a hand. Isn't that funny? Oh, and a little measuring tip. This needs to go in my, that needs to go with me for measuring things when I'm on the road. That looks like a little almost Sailor Moon anime key ring. There's a dog tag unprinted. Here's a little scary dude that I don't know who he is, but you know what? My toy friends know. And they can tell me. This looks like another measuring tape. It is another measuring tape. Good. I lose mine all the time. Guess what? More bias tape. Then, look at this beautiful Pennsylvania Dutch tin, black tin. And guess what? It's full, it's heavy. <laughs> so, more napkins, not napkins, hankies. More hankies. That's pretty with the little ribbon stitch. That edging is really pretty. This guy looks like a little spider web, doesn't it? I would totally put a, wow, a lot of hankies again. More hankies and more hankies. I like these with these cut out edges from the flower. That's pretty. And then I don't know what that guy is. More textile. And then I got a little picture frame. These things are loaded. And then I got a constitution and some postcards. <laughs> he sent me Las Vegas playing cards, vintage, fun. Oh, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Another one of these. Oh, look at this pretty frame. What is it? Does this say anything? No. BT. This is God. This is pewter. But the flowers are beautiful on that. Okay. I'm running out of room because there's so much stuff in this bag. Hankies, hankies, hankies. This box is turning into something fun. You'll see. Oh, look at, I'm heading there in a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Let me show those over there. Look at this, an uh, antique autograph book. Now the cover is falling off and I don't think, oh my gosh, it was used. Look, look at the handwriting. This will be interesting. I have to look through that later. And then I believe this is another one. Antique because we don't write like that. So this will be interesting to go through. And here we have some earrings. Car oh, we're not gonna talk about what these are made out of, but these were probably purchased when this stuff was legal. I need to take them out. You can't even see what I'm looking at. Yeah, these are kind of unfortunate earrings. I'll show you the back. So those are going to be, I think you can still sell these items, but it has to be older, obviously, because you can't sell these items now. That's dangerous territory for people. Oh, look at this guy. We do have some jewelry, folks. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> look at this bracelet. Oh, my God. It's a tiger bracelet. Oh, my gosh. 
that is amazing. I'm trying to see where you put them on. There's got to be a clasp on here somewhere. All right, I'll have to find it later, but <gasps> amazing. <gasps> this isn't going anywhere. Courting couple, lock it. nothing inside but look oh my gosh okay that's amazing that's amazing and then here's some it looks like costume jewelry rings nothing too too exciting in there I don't think but you know what you never know I'm gonna I'll take a look further One of the tiger's feet came off. I gotta look. Fix him up. Fenton glass. Oh, for goodness sake, he's got me a Fenton elephant. And he sent me a note. How cute is he? I can't stand it. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, Adam. You are fabulous. See what I mean? He's my buddy because we've been doing this for so long. I've been buying boxes from him forever. Well, five years. <laughs> so now he sends me, oh, look, another one. Wow. That's pretty fabulous. And then guess what? A bunch of hankies hankies and hankies for days and hankies and hankies yeah he sent me a message and told me that he packed it up so I gotta make sure I send him a really good thank you note because what a sweetheart look at that with the flower in the center that's interesting they crocheted a, a little flower in the center like a violet hanky hanky hankies Oh, this is fabulous. Look at this frame. It's another almost like courting couple. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, but there's so much stuff and I want, I don't want this video to be 85 hours long and I don't get to the next box. So I'm going to just say hanky and put it to the side for you. So don't. And then here's another bag of it looks like just mishmash. looks like a bunch of costume rings, but they look tarnished. So they're probably not too exciting, but that is okay. I don't care. And then look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This says, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. That's just really lovely. Really lovely. Adam, you did a great job. And then, of course, there's a few more dresser scarves. Oh, another one of these guys. And a few more hankies. And then this box. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he outdid himself. He outdid himself, you guys. Look. Vintage tablecloth. Oh, my gosh. Come on. It's a Florida one. Look at that vintage Florida tablecloth. <gasps> That's pretty darn good. And what is this? It's another tablecloth. Look at this. What does it say? Looks like there was a tag on here. No, maybe it's a piece of, I don't know what this is. It could just, you know. Oh, it's got the brown. Isn't that pretty cool? I love that blue. And that's that box. Very, very fun. He did a good job. He did a good job. Those Fentons are going to be something. That's what I feel like. 
Fenton's are going to be something. He put some really good things in this box. Add them. You get two thumbs up, my brother. The first box, a little slow. This box, much better. Much better. Don't you agree? Do you agree? These little Fenton's, come on. That's pretty cool. And, oh, these autograph books. Those are just delightful. Okay. I just have to package some of the stuff together to get it out of here so I can hurry up and get to the last box. Because if you can't tell, I'm sweating. I'm sweating because we have humidity today. We never have humidity. Never. Because we don't get much rain. And uh, today it rained. And now... We've got humidity, and now I'm sweating. So, I got a mess to clean up after this. It's all over the floor. <laughs> oh, because it's like, you know, I try to do the videos in different portions of my house, and uh, I don't really have a big table to set all my stuff in. When I was at my trade show, somebody had this table for their booth, and they're like, do you want it? We're getting rid of it. I'm like, uh, yeah. So now I have a table <laughs> to do stuff on. Oh, gosh. And Erica, this girl, oh, God, she's going to make some magic happen in here. I already know it. I already know it. Oh, boy. Look at that. How fun that is. Moonlight and Roses. Okay. She always does. She just finds the most interesting things. Oh, how cute. Yeah. The big top in crochet. I did a circus show a little while ago, and I still have circus items, so there's still maybe another circus show. You never know. She always sends me mermaids. <laughs> And probably have enough stuff for another gosh darn it mermaid show. Oh my gosh, what is <gasps> oh. oh look at him. So if you don't know, she knows she's been to my house. I have a peacock David Bowie room. <laughs> we know where he's going. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. Erica, where did you find him? You kept him as a surprise. I don't remember him. Oh, there's, I think there's two. And there's two. I gotta get my room in order so I have room to put these pretty guys. Oh my gosh, that room is a mess. It's a mess because I do a box opening and then I have my stuff everywhere and then I try to put it away and then I got a box. I don't know. It's just all. Again, I am not as organized as a lot of thrifters are. That's a little grow guy. That's adorable. I am not as organized as a lot of the thrifters are that they get their stuff in, they log it in, they put it away on their whatever shelf. I get, <gasps> do you guys know what this means? I'm going to kiss her. Do you guys know what this means? I'm going to show you what it means. Oh, no, that's not her. It's, this is from the beauty queen, Barbie. Beauty queen? right? I have one and I didn't have the wigs. I was dying for these wigs and now I have them. Oh, she's now complete. Now that Barbie is staying with me because that's my jam. <laughs> and then Monster High. Oh my gosh. I love it. Erica. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, she knows all my things that I just love. Oh, more Barbie stuff. Look at this. Little doll clothing bags, travel bags. Oh, my gosh, I love that. She's 
she goes through stuff and she, you know, she does, she resells a lot of her stuff. Oh, and look at the doll hangers. That's fabulous. She resells things. She does a lot of Barbie stuff. She knows more about Barbies than I do, I swear. She, she does because I'm not as good researching. I don't do all the research because my Barbies, I get them and they go in a box. <laughs> because it's like, I, do I want to give them up? I don't know. So, oh, my tinies. She knows I love tiny things. So these are all little tiny. Is that a, it's a little gnome looking monkey guy? Oh, and look at her. Mermaid for the fridgey fridge. She packages her stuff so nice. We both have an affinity for reading and old and vintage materials. Oh, what is that? The Bobsy Twins. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Now that's an old Bobsy. Let me see. 1950. I love it. I think I'm going to have to. So you know I have a reading channel, and unfortunately I haven't gotten to it in a few days, but we're going to get to it today. And uh, I read antique articles. Right now I'm reading from a... Um, a catalog that a young, lovely lady, Bertha Bat, she cut out a whole bunch of articles and tape and glued them, actually, because there wasn't tape, glued them into, oh my gosh, glued them into a hardware catalog. So I've been reading the articles and then the book is going to be given away at the end. So that channel is called Desert Mermaid Reads. So I think I might have the link down below. Feel free to join. There's going to be a bunch of reading today because that book has got to go because I have many more materials coming in. I just got a lot of antique ephemera from a lovely young lady who lives in Vermont. Um, all these different magazines and things that have those amazing articles, as well as some of the scandal magazines from back in the day, some noir. So I hope to get to a bunch of that and read a bunch of that for you guys. And look at this, this little stinker. Yep, I know where that's going. I'm going to put it over there in just a second. And then what is this? Oh, goodness, that's pretty. Look at Oh, that's so pretty. I just like the book. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever scrapbook, but I love that book. These peacocks are something, aren't they? So there you go, my friends. There is our video for today. How did you enjoy the mystery boxes? I know, again, it started out slow. So if any of the things are of interest to you, I am more than willing to let go of a ton of those linens. I, you know, I want to learn how to clean them and do all that stuff, but sometimes I don't have the time. Um, to get all that done because of my other endeavors because you know I do trade shows and I travel a lot and things like that so if uh, if you're interested in some of those linens let me know and I'm more than happy to ship them off to you so anyway on that note I am gonna clean this mess up and I will see you guys next time take care love you all follow any of the people I've got in my description down there. There's some fun people that I have to follow. My other things are listed down there. And again, subscribe. It costs zero dollars to subscribe. Hope to see you guys soon. We will see you soon. You take care and have a great day. Bye.